On the measurements page there is a control called lofting and it's easiest to understand what this does on a four-sided fairly regular sail and if we first of all apply no lofting run the calculations and look at the produced sail I'm going to try and look at it exactly in front view maybe I can do it like this we can see that the midpoint of the sail, in other words the point that the sail comes down to in the middle, <coughs> is approximately halfway between the high poles and the low poles. And this is the normal situation on a shade sail. This is conventional normal shade sail design. In some situations, maybe for clearance of uh, equipment underneath or maybe for aesthetics, it is required to bring this point higher. We can do this by specifying lofting. I'll go straight away just to illustrate this to the highest lofting available, 25%. Run the calculations and look at the visualization. And now if I go into that front view and just rotate it around just a little bit, you can see that the center point of the sail is higher than the midpoint of the poles. It has lifted the center point of the sail up, lofted the sail. Because of this, the sail will be a, a slightly different shape, and the panels used to make the sail will be different as well. It also means that there is more tension applied by the sail between the two top poles and less tension applied between the lower poles. So just to recap, the normal situation is to use 0% lofting and that produces a balanced sail with a midpoint midway between the pole heights. Use lofting to lift the sail above that height if necessary.